Hello, thank you for watching the Aaron Schwartz channel. Looking here at the SRDP59 P9, you might be mistaken to think that looks like an expensive luxury wristwatch. But on this side of $250, in fact $221, I'm not sure there's another automatic self-winding mechanical wristwatch with such exceptionalism for such a price. Here we see it's got the day and the date and something like 40 hours of power reserve, though in my practice I've noticed more than that. You don't even have to pull out the stem to wind this one, you just rotate it clockwise. The second hand ticks long. It's got a wonderful band made of stainless steel. The polishing and finishing is exceptional. The loom on the hands works great, and Kitty loves it. You'll see here that as I massage Kitty and wind the wristwatch automatically, she gives the wristwatch some love. That polished bezel on top there, it can rotate. You can actually use it as a timer. Amazingly, this kind of wristwatch contains a 24 joule automatic self-winding movement that Seiko, inventor of the quartz wristwatch, actually continues to make. The caliber 4R36 is an exceptional movement enhanced with synthetic sapphire bearings. The escapement and the rest of the movement is somewhat viewable through the skeletonized back lens. We've got mineral glass here, not sapphire, though mineral glass has better optical properties. Boy, that sunburst orange dial, it really pops and it shines. It's got a radiant pattern, a texture that Kitty apparently loves, and here under indoor LED lighting you can see it periodically while I'm massaging Kitty's fur. It's something that, I don't know, it's transcendent. It's a Seiko 5. It's one of those reliable, shock-resistant, die shock featuring movements that just does. It's the everyday man's working wristwatch. Purchased for a measly 221 US dollars in 2022, a depreciated fiat currency, it provides well, a touch of luxury on your wrist that you might be inclined to spend on Omega or Rolex some hundred times more, or something like that. I've gotten more compliments on this one than I have on watches that cost even more than that, and upon telling the people how much it actually costs, they responded something like, that's fantastic, I want to get one too, where did you find it? I bought it on Amazon.com. This is not an endorsement, though I would suggest it's a wonderful retailer. You can see there that Sweet Pea the Kitty has beautiful light blue eyes. They flash in and out here. The phone's bump came on while I was recording this 4K video. You can even see the texture in her eyes and the retroflective property. She really loves that wristwatch there. It's got a sharp edge she likes to rub her chin against when she gets close and the opportunity provides so. I simulate being a cat when I play with Kitty, kinesthetic that is, I use my hand to simulate the same kind of kneading action that Kitty does in response as a loving signal. Now the best watch for you is the watch that you like. I look down at this one every day and thank God that I have it. I thank Meg for being forbearant to allow my limited income as a bus driver for the Issaquah School District to pay for such a contrivance. Yes, it tells time, but that's secondary to its function as a fashion accessory for my left wrist. If you see my right wrist, you might see an Apple Watch Series SE, as it were, from 2022 or 2021. I'm not sure exactly. It's newer than the Series 5 Apple Watch my wife uses as a fitness tracker, and I use mine as the same. I happen to like manual wristwatches, and if you need to find one that's more expensive than this, I highly suggest you visit watchfinder.co.uk or visit their YouTube channel inspiring this video and some others.